Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I finally did it. I finally took uh, took the dive, and I'm doing what um, everyone and their and their mama is doing right now, is doing a podcast, and it is something that. Uh, well, so first of all, welcome to the House of Moody Vintage Podcast. Um, I, I went with it. I went with the name. I thought it was just fun. It was just me, and I'll I'll tell you why or another reason why I'm um, came up with that name in a bit. But first and foremost, I want to get this out of the way. Know this, people. As much as I love interacting with individuals, and I love as much as I love entertaining people somehow, one way or another, you know, whether it's you know in person or on social, uh, Instagram. I, I want. I don't want to say social media because I don't, I'm really just really, really, only really active on Instagram. And um, and for those who know me who've been following me for a while, uh, I've been doing YouTube stuff for, for quite some time as well. So that's nothing new, right? I mean, I've been doing content, video content, entertainment, whatever, since I was a kid, you know, even before there was a YouTube. So nothing new here. But first and foremost, this podcast is, this podcast is for me, Okay. Yes, it's incredibly selfish, but I needed it because the past couple of years, my creativity was, it w- I was suffocating creatively, okay? I was suffocating creatively because for the longest time, whether it was like, you know, in school or whether I had a job, there was always an outlet of creativity, right? I always practiced that. I always exercised that. I always expressed my creativity because that's who I am. That's who I am as a person. And you know, whether it's the media, entertainment, whatever it was, since I can remember, right? I mean, film, you know, was was my first passion. So nothing new there, right? And so I wanted to, the past couple of years, basically, I've been prioritizing work. Work just has been sort of a necessity. Um, and and I was I was fortunate to be thriving during the pandemic. Everyone's talking about the goddamn pandemic. And and um, I was thriving. I had no real complaints, you know? It's just that I had to prioritize certain things where my cre- creativity was being, um, you know, just, just put in the back burner, you know? And I didn't have that outlet. And even though, like, for example, when I was still back in, in, in Bangladesh and I was, you know, I worked for a couple of publications and you know, whether it was doing it for the paycheck or whatever, or, you know, it was a job. It was a job. I had to, I had to pay the bills, you know, it was a job. And, but there was always a creative outlet. There was always something where I was able to express myself and that sort of kept me afloat. You know, it was sort of like a balance between your responsibilities and then, and then you had, you know, just having fun and creativity, whatever, and just, just producing something creative, you know, don't get me wrong. Now that I'm living here in, in Bangkok, and you know, in Thailand, goddamn, I love Thailand. Goddamn, I love Bangkok. It's like one of it's my favorite city right now. It's my favorite city in the world right now. Um, but yeah, so now that I'm here, like I said, got priorities and so on and so on, and I get to hang out with my you know close friends, which I'm incredibly, I feel incredibly blessed to be doing. That I actually have you know very close friends here who work and live here as well, and I get to spend time with them. You know, when when it's uh, you know when it's the weekend and everyone's sort of winding down, whatever. So that's there, but. That's not the complaint, and and sometimes, sometimes the work is the complaint because, it's, I'm sort of you know part of that old generation, uh you know that stoic, type of you know, man up, you know what I'm saying like dust yourself up and try again, you know. <laughs> yeah, dusting myself off. So yeah, so, that's how it's been for the past couple of years, and it's very difficult for me to talk about, you know, the mental stress that comes along with it. Because again, we're not accustomed to, you know, my generation, we didn't grow up doing that. Talk about our problems, right? Uh, but it was a real thing. You know, three times last year, this is crazy. Three times, that's like too, too many. You know what I mean? Like once, okay, I get it. But uh, I, I shut down, like mentally just shut down. Like after, you know, long hour, a long day or whatever, if it was work related or whatever. And I, and I have so many things to to balance, you know, all the different t- type of priorities to balance that it just got exhausting and it got to a point where I absolutely shut down. I would just sit on my couch and that was it. Like that was like, I would just sit here 
and do absolutely nothing. Sit in absolute silence and, and it felt like my entire brain just fucking shut down. And that was it. Three times that happened. And at one point, at one point, I literally just crawled into bed. It was like just so, you know, cliche or stereotypical, that kind of type of situation where you just like crawl into bed and just want to shut the world off for a little bit. And, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to, I'm not, you know, taking this time to be vulnerable or whatever. And I, and, and I know for our first episode, it's kind of heavy, but let's face it, there's some crazy ass things that are happening right now in the world. Um, you know, specifically in Europe, if you know, you know, obviously, duh, you're, you, of course you know. But, and I wanted to record this um, in, at a much better time. Anyways, the setup is here. I'm ready to go. The podcast is here. Got my equipment and everything set up and, you know, the camera. For those who are watching me on YouTube, you're watching me on YouTube. This is this podcast I'm making available for both, you know, um, audio and and video. So, I had, I had to incorporate the video. I've always been in front of the camera, you know, like, or if I'd done something creative, you know, I want to do something in front of the camera. You guys know me. I, you know, I like to entertain. So, uh, so this is no exception, right? The podcast is just like a, it's just like a huge bonus. So like I said, this is for me guys, you know, expressing my creativity, but the bonus is the bonus is if you're listening to this or you're watching this or both, if you, if you're relating to this, great. If you're relating to whatever I'm talking about, great. That's like a huge bonus. That means you guys are, you know, either entertained or you sort of agree or disagree. I don't care. You know, you don't have to agree with me, obviously. That's your opinion. And, but the most important thing is that it, it, the process, it's the process. I have always been a fan of the long form conversation type of format, you know, and that's why I'm such a huge fan of like, you know, podcasts like, uh, Joe Rogan and 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 things like that. So and I and I follow a lot of podcasts, and I'm sure you guys do too. If you're listening to my podcast, I'm sure you're listening to so many others. So um, now for the structure, right now, now to go down to the structure for this podcast, it's going to be 30 minutes. Okay, it's not going to go past 30 minutes. It can be under 30 minutes, obviously, but these are 30 minute episodes. It's going to be once a week because um, right now that's really the only thing I can, aff- like time wise, I can afford you know, uh, where I'm expressing my creativity, allowing to, being allowed to do that, allowing myself to do that, I should say, sorry, this is for me, right, and uh, yeah, so it's a bonus if you guys are loving this, and you know, you want to continue to listen to this, I don't care, really, Um, if you do, fantastic, if you don't, great, Uh, again, you know, this is just, you know, whoever connects, connects, and that's, that's the beautiful thing, you know, I can only have one or two listeners, and I'd be totally fine with that, because, again, ultimately, this is for me, right, so, with that said, and, uh, you know, got the structure out of the way, uh, this podcast is basically about anything and everything, right, so if I had to, like, label it, what I guess, I guess you would put it under pop culture, you know, because it's broad. I never want to sort of have a niche type of market or start my podcast from there because I don't want to limit myself because that's not, you know, there's not only one thing I want to talk about. So many other things. I mean, yeah, I love film and I will talk about movies and shows all the time, but there are other things I want to talk about there, you know, like sports, music. Um, I'm not going to touch politics because I never have. I have my own opinions on that. I have conversations about that with friends and stuff, but it never goes beyond that circle, right? Uh, same thing with religion. I'm not going to touch on those to- two topics. I never have and never will. Um, in public, right? I mean, yes, obviously I'm going to be real with you guys and say, you know, there are certain things that I will not condone, obviously. I'm a peace-loving human being, um, especially when, you know, certain things that are happening right now, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I'm going to talk about everything, dude. I'm going to talk about everything. Like, be real with y'all. And um, for now, it's just me solo, going solo. I am not counting out having other people on, um, you know, whether it's virtual or or physical. Most likely it'll be virtual because I think we're just so so into that world right now where everything's like, it's, it is hybrid, you know, hybrid learning and working and all that crap. Um, so, I don't know. So, yeah, might have like, you know, people calling in. Why not? Just have fun with this, right? That's the whole. That is the whole idea, guys. Is to just to have fun with this. I think that's the number one thing. Um, I'm shooting in the evening right now. Not ideal. I wanted to do it in the morning or in the afternoon, you know, to get some natural light in, but not the most ideal at the moment uh, for the camera. 
audio, you guys can obviously listen to whenever, wherever and whenever. So, with that said, how do I start off my first? Oh, wait, I did start off my first podcast uh, episode, but uh, how do how do we uh, how do we really get into it? What's the real beef? The real meat into this podcast? Let's talk about my life in Bangkok. Yeah, and you know this is something that I wanted to talk about because I just find it so fascinating. There's so many things that when you move into a new place, a new completely new city, and it's 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 totally it's different in the sense like obviously there's going to be some certain you know um uh how do i say this cultural similarities differences and so on i mean i'm still in asia right i went from south asia to southeast asia um you know i, I obviously I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a cali boy you know i'm a cali native i was raised there so i got both the you know the best of both worlds and but Dude, being, <laughs> there's so many cool things about Thailand, so many beautiful things about Bangkok itself. It's going to be very hard wherever I go next, and I know I will eventually, I know I will eventually, it's going to be very difficult to leave Bangkok, very goddamn difficult. I'm not going to lie to y'all, it's going to be hard, but... <laughs> um. Uh, oh, I forgot to, I forgot to mention. Uh, so, so, uh, yes, thirty minute podcast. But um, I'm planning, you know, to release each episode on Mondays, right? Because it's the start of the week. You want something engaging and entertaining, whatever. And if I can bring some of that to y'all, great. And again, it's something for me, and because the weekend is really the only time where I can actually do this. And I'm doing this all by myself, right? The audio, the video, all of that editing. It's just, it's all me, okay? I'm doing this, uh, so bear with me when it comes to that. Um, so back to Bangkok. Sorry, I'm just my, I'm jumping all over the place here. But so, <laughs> so for the past couple of years, right, I've been getting my hair cut from one guy, one guy. No, sorry, the first year I was here, I was getting it from one guy, okay? Do Thai people have the coolest effing, nicknames they're just the, the coolest effing nicknames i wish we had that where i come from my nickname is dollar for those who don't know yes the currency the u.s dollar that's my nickname anyways so no it is not moody uh that was um <clears throat> i guess um bestowed upon me in in high school so that's a whole different story anyways so, and I will get to the name, why I chose the name of the podcast, but quickly just getting to where I am right now in the world. <laughs> um, so, they have the coolest nicknames. I, and um, and my first barber here, and which was, I, you know, I felt so bad leaving Taka because I obviously had my, the, just that one, you know, guys, you know this, we, we, have our, we have our guy, we have our, our one guy that takes care of our hair, he knows what we want, he knows what it's all about, that's who we go to. They came here to Bangkok. Got my own, you know. Went to one of the brand, uh, one of the branches here, of Never Say Cuts. Okay, these dudes are good, man. It's quality shit. So my first, my first barber, his name was Benz. Okay, Benz, like Mercedes Benz. Benz. Okay, it's common. It's not like a ooh, uh, that's common. I was like, oh, that's, that's a cool ass nickname, dude. Benz. That's a dope ass name. So every time I call in, make an appointment, I want Benz, right? So homeboy relocated. I was gutted. I was like, dude, he knew my shit and all that stuff. Ah, fine, okay. So there was another. Obviously, no, obviously, there's obviously other barbers there. Another uh, barber who I ended up getting it from because I went to that same branch nearby where I live, and his name is Pie. Okay, Pie, like American Pie. And uh, so went from Ben's to Pi. Okay, I'm like, yeah, man, some cool ass nicknames here. And Pi was really good too for a very long time until the branch closed down. Because I'm pretty sure because they, eventually they would have to. I, I guess maybe it's due to uh, the pandemic. I don't know. Um, you know, it's taken a lot of it's taken a toll on a lot of companies. Uh, a lot of businesses have gone out of business. Right. So I guess it shut down. Anyways. So now I'm like, God damn it. What the f, right? And it's close. It's like it was really close to my place. It's like a fifteen-minute bike ride, you know. Um, 
motorcycle, not like bicycle, motorcycle. Um, so, so yeah, so now I'm having to go to a different uh, branch, the branch in Tonglo, right? Now, I, I go in there, I don't know anybody, you know, it's my first time in this branch, and I'm like, all right, you know, I'm just gonna get my haircut, whatever, go to the first guy, whatever, whoever they assign me to, and I didn't know his name, because I was, I, my thing was like, all right, I'm gonna keep coming here, and then like, checking who like does the best, and stuff like that, and, and so that was my plan, like, so, you know, so, first time I did that, it was this dude, which I didn't, didn't know, whatever, last time I went, made another appointment, it's the same guy, and then I look at, I look at the board, is it, there's a board behind the, the register or the front counter and it's got all the barbers' names on it and it's got all the, their pictures and the names and who's coming up or who they're taking care of next, you know, in their, in their lineup, who's they're, who they're going to give the, uh, which client they're taking care of next, right? That's the whole idea. And the guy, the same guy that, I'm, that I got, his name is God. Okay? God. Do you understand this? It was, I felt like it was a sign from God. I really did. I felt like this was a sign from God himself. <laughs> and I was like, is his name really God? Like, are you for sure? And uh, so I got my cut and he does it so well, right? So, I mean, I'm like, you know what, Scoot, I'm not going to go to somebody else. I'm just going to ask from him from now on. And I asked him, you know, like, what, what, what was your name? And he's, you know, what was his name? It's like, oh, God. And I'm like, oh, okay, just making sure. Because I saw the name on the board. And I was like, I'm just making sure. Homeboy's name is God. My barber is God. You should, if you're watching this, you see my face. It's, anyways, it's a sign from God. Uh, I'm not that religious. Um, I'm not atheist or anything like that, but I'm saying I'm not as religious as I used to be. But yo, that's a sign, man. If if God is giving you haircuts, fam, you know what I'm saying? Stick with him. So now every time I'm gonna, you know, call in my you know, get my appointment for get to get a haircut, it's gonna be God. <laughs> you know? Straight up. So that's the plan. That's the plan. I love I man, I love this place so fucking much. Uh, yeah, it's going to be so hard leaving, leaving Bangkok and, um, wow. Yeah. Um, which, which reminds me, I think I'm just very excited for the coming month for certain reasons, uh, information that I may, I shouldn't, I shouldn't disclose cause it's not a hundred percent guarantee thing. So I'm not going to go there anyways. Well, maybe discuss it in later podcasts, episodes. And I, so I'm, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try very hard to release an episode each, you know, um, each week, okay, 30 minutes, uh, I would love to do like one hour episodes, but I think that's, that's much more fun when there's someone else involved, right, like when there's a co-host or co-hosts, you know, more than, more than two or three people, it's, it's just, uh, more fun that way, so one hour, I mean, come on, like, as if you guys have time for, to listen to me for one hour. That's crazy. I don't even want to talk to whoever it is for one hour, <laughs> okay? So I think 30 minutes is perfect for now, you're right? So, um, and who knows, maybe down the line when I get more people involved, uh, they could go for an hour. I would love to do a one-hour podcast um, if other people were, were obviously, you know, being involved in this. But that's not the case now. So it's just me, okay? I'm doing all this by myself. And uh, so yeah, thirty minute episodes each week. Um, very excited, and I love. This is gonna sound crazy. I know a lot of people are like, "What? That's crazy." I love the process of making things, like whether it's a podcast or a video, or whatever. But I love the editing part. I don't know why. I have no. I have no clue why. <clears throat> and it's just, I just, I just love the, I just love it. I just love editing man especially videos it's just so cool to like and it's and it doesn't have to be like you know like gr like graphic heavy and all that stuff and 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 if you are watching this on youtube you will see you know graphics or video footage and, and pictures and you know images and and stuff like that it's going to be incorporated obviously because it's youtube and i just but and i also just love i just have fun doing that that's just my i just i just love it i just do i like just 
it's just so cool. It's a really cool thing. And it's like I said, it doesn't have to be like crazy graphic heavy or, you know, um, watching Marcus Brownlee on YouTube, you know, that kind of level of production, you know, not that, but like the simplest, like, you know, jump cuts, you know what I mean? Or like transitions, you know, like um, just simple, simple, basic things like that. It's just so fun doing that and putting and sort of like, it is the process of creating and it's like, it's like a really cool stage of the process for me, the editing part. So you're going to see a lot of that in the video. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make this available. Uh, this is going to be, I'm mean, obviously, if you're listening to this, you're either listening it, listening to it on, you know, uh, Spotify, um, Apple podcast. Um, there are other, you know, uh, podcasts, um, uh, platforms. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I'll have to, de- I'll have to decide on that and discuss it with, um, my consigliere, you know, my, um, well, actually, no, there's more than one. Um, my very close friends who probably have a better idea of how to do that. Anyway, so I want to say that I'm incredibly blessed to have all this. And, you know, I had, I had my, there was some, there was some doubts doing this because I was like, am I going to have time to do it? Um, am I, you know, getting all this equipment and stuff like that, which was very important for me. I'm one of those guys where if I buy something, I'm going to feel, I feel immediately guilty because it's like, do I really deserve this? Um, shouldn't I have just spent this money on something else? You know what I mean? That kind of thing. I always go through that process. But a very close friend to me, friend of me, wow, I'm getting tired. See, I'm already tired. A very close friend of mine said something very important. She's like, you know, it's something that her mother said. Um, uh, Dola, if you're watching this, hi. Um, or listening to this. She said, you know, if wh- what's it all for then? What are you working hard for then? You know, you got to treat yourself. So for me, it's like, and I thought of like, I was like, oh, you're so damn right. So that just sort of like tore down, tore down the guilt of just a little bit, you know, because it's true. And I've been a hypocrite. I've been a, a long, long time hypocrite. I always tell people, yo, treat yourself, treat yourself. You deserve it. Blah, blah, blah. But I don't do it for myself. I don't. So this podcast thing is definitely for me. That's why I started off this episode by saying that this is for me. Like this is so, it, you know. And it's about expressing creativity, right? And it's not like I'm going to like blow out money like this all the time. And it's not even that expensive if you come think of it. Um, so again, very blessed for that as well. And so the name. Okay, let's get back. Let's get to the name, right? The House of Moody Vintage. Now, Moody Vintage, this is some, I have a digital. That name has a digital footprint from 2004, okay? When... Google introduced Gmail. Okay? So I've had it for a while and I've stuck with it. I was like, you know what? I'll just let's stick with it. That's obviously not my name. My name is Mahmoud Hossein. Okay? For those who don't know. Uh, but I thought I figured, you know what? That's it's it's become a brand. It's my online, you know, alias. And it's you know, it's stuck with me for two thousand since two thousand four, right? before all of this social media and all this stuff. So that's why it's I kept it Moody Vintage and House of Moody Vintage is sort of a play on something that I have still haven't talked about. But my friend Sunita, who and I totally understand why she hated the movie, um, she wanted my thoughts on the movie uh, The House of Gucci. And so um, I'm gonna try to wrap it up as soon as possible. So I I felt like you know what maybe it's just a fun maybe it's just a fun thing to like you know, have a little, just play with that name, you know, and I figured things just going to be hilarious, House of Moody Vintage Podcast, why the F not, right, um, so, okay, you know what, I'm going to do her a favor right now, I understand why, now, she, my friend Sanita, hated this film, she just, I mean, that's what I got, that's the vibe I got from her, and it was very public, I can talk about this, it's very public, it's not a, not a big deal, but now I'm here. Here are my thoughts on the on the movie. Okay, I can't believe this is the first movie I'm talking about on my podcast. It's ridiculous. Look, it's not like crap, right? It's not a nightmare. It's 
and but I can I can see where she's coming from. I can see the thing is before I watched the movie, I you know, I read reviews, heard reviews or whatever, watched reviews for my favorite movie pundits and my favorite critics or whatever. And you, look for anybody out there, anyone you know better, right? Whether you're reading a review, whether it's your favorite, you know, whether your it's your friend telling you about it, your favorite uh, movie reviewer is telling you about it. At the end of the day, you still make up your own decision. You're like, you know what? I'm going to see it for myself. I'll create this opinion, right? It's my opinion. And that's what I do with everything else. But before going into this movie, I did that, you know? And I, and the reviews weren't that great. And I was like, that. so I was reluctant. I was like, ah, man, I don't know if I want to go into this. Fine. So Sanita's like, damn it, watch it. I want your thoughts. I was like, fine, I'll watch it. So I watched it. <laughs> and and I have thoughts. I, I don't hate it. I'm going to be real with you guys. I don't hate it, but I can totally see why the you know the reviews came out the way it did and why people hated it and, and, and or disliked it or whatever. And it's a uh, it's it's very difficult because Ridley Scott came out with another film, right? The Last Duel. The Last Duel has Adam Driver, surprise, and and Matt Damon and and uh, and yes. Yeah, so anyway, so. So that that film was like, it was good. It was so good. And you would think that the actors, they were doing their natural accents. They weren't putting on a fake accent or whatever. You'd think that would be jarring, but it wasn't. And it was so well done. And I'm like, and then so when I watched The House of Gucci, I was like, how in the hell can Ridley Scott shoot a film like The Last Duel, which was fantastic, and then The House of Gucci? The House of Gucci, I, I think my... I think Tom Ford, my favorite designer of all time, he summed it up best. He saw the movie, and he said, "You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say word for word, but his review was the best. His, I think his review was the best. It was, it was, it. To me, it was like a, a clown show. You know. So, for me, oh man, um." How do I say this? <laughs> I like I said, I didn't hate it. Um, it could have been better. I'm a little, I'm a little surprised. Like not pleasantly surprised. It was not a good film. It wasn't a good film. It wasn't great. It was not something that I would recommend someone to watch. The House of Gucci. And um, I think Adam Driver was probably the. <laughs> he's probably the saving grace of the film. I know that's not, that, that sounds crazy, but he's probably the sa- saving grace of the film um it, everything was just, just so exaggerated and i think the person who pretty much summed it up was jared leto i think he was like the oh my god now that i'm thinking about it it's it was just like a really really not that good of a movie i but anyways i didn't i didn't hate it I, I could see why people did but i didn't hate it um i would not recommend it don't watch house of gucci it could have been done much better anyways but i think uh you know the it's at the end of the day, it's not. The, it's not really the actors' fault because they were the ones who were being, you know, they were the ones who got casted, and you know, they were trying to put on the accent and all the stuff. And but it's like Ridley, bro. That's you're the director. It's your vision. I'm sorry, man. At the end of the day, it's your responsibility to be like, okay, you know what, Lady Gaga, maybe you should do it this way, or you know what, Al Pacino, yo, Al, man. Now I'm getting sad. Okay, we're not gonna talk about it anymore. <laughs> It was uh, it was an okay movie. All right. Anyways, there's there's my review. It wasn't like a proper review because it's not a it's not a review that I, it's not a movie that I wanted to talk about on a podcast. Okay. Uh, a- anything I want to talk about is you guys probably if you already follow me on Instagram, um, you know you know that I, I share my you know very sort of very brief thoughts or reviews on movies and television shows and music or whatever. So what have you, um. I did not want to do that for this episode. Anyways, that is the first episode, guys. I just want to do that because, uh, Sanita, I love you, and you know, you wanted my thoughts on it. That's my thoughts. Maybe you didn't like it, um, or you didn't like my thoughts on it, you know, because it, you know, tear it down like you wanted me to. I just don't have the energy, and <laughs> it wasn't so offensive, you know. If the movie was offensive, which to some people may have been, but of course it's art, so it's subjective. Then I would have probably went off on it like a crazy man, but. Nah, that's not what I'm going to do. It's all about cool, peace, positivity, and love. You know my old monarch. No, I'm not going to do it. Anyways, so guys, this is my first episode. Uh, it's just basically an introduction. I'm going to obviously talk more uh, as the weeks go on. And 
and and as the world events change and pop culture changes and so on, that's what I'm going to be talking about. It's all about yours truly. No, no. It's going to be about anything and everything. I'm very excited. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Again, I know it's for me, but if you guys can relate, you guys are entertained by it, great. Please enjoy it. And um, yeah, there you go. Welcome to the to the House of Moody Vintage podcast. All right? And I guarantee you this will be much better than the film. All right? I'll see you next time. I'm going to have a lot of fun editing this because there's so many things I need to choose before it goes out and it gets published. Okay? Anyways, uh, I think that's enough. I talk, I've talked way too much. Uh, thank you, guys. Um, I will see you hopefully next week. Hopefully. Let's do this again. Thank you.